group 7a halogens they are located on the right side of the modern periodic table and they are elements of group 17 which are located in p block This group contains the following elements F fluorine, Cl chlorine, Br bromine, I iodine, At astatine. We won't talk about At or astatine because it is a radioactive element and it is unstable. They are called halogens which means forming salt because they react with metals forming salt as we can see from this reaction this is the reaction between sodium and chlorine to form sodium chloride metal plus non-metal forms salt this is the same reaction but in another way heating a piece of sodium then passing chlorine gas they will form sodium chloride or table salt this is the liquid bromine adding sodium to it or any metal they will form salt group 7a are called halogens because they react with metals forming salt also the reaction of iodine with any metal such as sodium or potassium in case of sodium sodium iodide is formed in case of potassium potassium iodide is formed so group 7a elements are called halogens because they react with metals forming salt general properties of halogens they are monovalent elements in other way their outermost energy level contains seven electrons this is fluorine its outermost energy level L contains seven and during chemical reaction it will gain one electron so it is a monovalent this is chlorine its outermost energy level M contains seven so it is a monovalent element the second property is they tend to gain one electron and change into negative ion each carries one negative charge this is fluorine atom during chemical action it will gain one electron and change into negative fluorine ion this is chlorine atom during chemical reaction it will gain one electron and change into negative chlorine ion The third property is halogens exist in the form of diatomic molecules. It means that each molecule of halogen consists of two atoms, such as F2, Cl2, Br2, I2. Their physical state is graduated from gas to liquid to solid, where Fluorine and chlorine are gases. Bromine is liquid and finally iodine is solid. Let's see this from the following video. As you can see the first two tubes are for fluorine and chlorine. This one is for bromine and the last one for iodine. Iodine solid, bromine liquid, fluorine and chlorine are gases. They are very active elements. Therefore, they do not exist in nature in elementary state, but they form chemical compounds. For example, you can found fluorine in feldosparous stones. Chlorine, you can find it in table salt, which is extracted from seawater. Also, bromine. can be extracted from seawater the same is done with iodine so they are very active elements 
For this reason, they don't exist in elementary state. They always form a chemical compounds. They react with metals forming salt. For example, the reaction of potassium with bromine. It will form potassium bromide. The reaction of sodium with chlorine. It will form sodium chloride. Each element replaces the element below it in its salt solution. The order of this group is fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. So chlorine can replace bromine because bromine is below chlorine and chlorine is more active than bromine. So chlorine plus potassium bromide, it will give potassium chloride and bromine bromine plus potassium iodide bromine is more active than iodine so bromine can replace iodine so we will get potassium bromide and iodine the reaction of chlorine with potassium bromide chlorine can replace bromine because bromine is less active than chlorine as you can see, this brown color is the color of the formed bromine. Properties of elements and their uses. Sodium. It is used in a liquid state in transferring heat from inside the nuclear reactor to outside because sodium is a metal which is good conductor of heat and electricity. Cobalt-60 This is one of the isotopes of cobalt. Cobalt-60, which is radioactive element. It is used in food preservation because it radiates gamma rays which prevent the reproduction of microbial cells but don't harm humans. Silicon SI. It is used in the manufacture of electronics because it is a semiconductor or a metalloid. Liquefied nitrogen, which is used in the preservation of cornea of oil due to decrease of its boiling point, which reaches negative 196 degrees Celsius. Note the following. We can get rid of undesirable odors inside the refrigerator using a piece of a charcoal which collects gases on its surface thanks for watching this is the end of lesson 3